All right, on this episode of the Aileron Designs Track Build Series for Railroads Online, we're going to talk a little bit about how to build that perfect yard and keep all your lines nice and straight as you go. Stay tuned. Okay, so one of the first things that we're going to do for the yard work is going to grab a constant grade ground piece. <laughs> Normally, you'd start off of an existing track. In this case, I'm just going to grab something nearby. And we're going to make everything that same level. So give me just a minute here. I'm going to place everything for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get our first switch placed. We're just going to go ahead and throw one down to get it in line here. Sometimes you got to place two because they don't always place the right direction. So there we go. We have overlapped our track, but that's not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and throw it down across here. And now I'm going to just stage my first line here. So let's go ahead and throw it on the opposite track. You need to put in the left if you went right or the right if you went left. And I'm going to do three rails to the right. And then we're going to come back here and try to set up to the left side. I'm having a little trouble finding the spot to delete. And it looks like I deleted the whole switch. So... Let's go back here. It looks like I've got a good position. Luckily, I saved that cross. Now let's go ahead and put our left switches in, and then we're going to go to the right. So left turn out to go right. Make sure your signals are to the outside. Put my left down, and then a right. There we go. So to go ahead and line up your track, you're going to place a cross track. I like to place two sometimes. It gives you a nice longer stretch. You're going to stretch it from the beginning of that cross track all the way to the end of the second one. And now you can just press Alt and then make sure you're going perfectly straight down your line. You're going to find that point where it snaps. It's a little hard to get it just perfect. It's not too important, but if you like your ties to look nice and pretty, you should probably keep your lines uh, stretched out as far as possible when you're building. Other end of the yard, we're going to just reverse what we did. There we are going to connect our lines up. A little matching. So what I'm going to do is go back here to where that tie snaps to the end of the rail. And then extend it out. Just makes it look a little prettier without too many gaps. I'll explain more of that in a, a different series. So we're going to clean up our class, cross track and check for any duplicate track or overlapping track we might have. Okay, if you're here to drive a two-line rail switch, that means if you got two lines going down your yard or in that same configuration where they're next to each other, and you just decide mid-rail, it's a long straight, you want to have a crossover, let's say an oncoming train, and you want to switch from main one to main two, I'm going to set up my template here. I'm going to put my track down overlapping. I'm going to back it up a little bit so I can get lined up just perfect. Now I'm going to place the same exact track. So if I made a left switch out, I want to make a left switch in so they match up. Here we're going to go ahead and grab the switch left again. And I'm going to pair it up with the opposite track and try to get these lines perfect. you got to look really at the end of the line where they're, they're hitting the rails. And as you walk backward, you get a nice straight line. And if I hit it, it looks pretty good there. Yeah, man, like that's, that's, I don't think I've ever done a better job than this. Um, I've been doing this for a while, so I'm pretty used to it. But let's go ahead and finish up our line. Make our extra connections. All right, so in here we're going to go ahead and i'm going to show you a different example of when it wasn't so perfect and we'll show you how it turned out so here i'm going to line it up again looks pretty good there on the straight track we're going to back up and then let's try to match it up right there let's see how it looked 
Yeah, there's a little, the track's pretty fat right there. You can see right in the middle of the screen how it kind of sticks out a little bit. Um, it's not perfect, but let's let's try it out. Let's see how it works. Make our connections. I'm going to grab the, uh, let's do the Class 70 with a tender. Make sure your switches out here are pointed to the outside of the track. That'll allow you to go straight. If we're trying to do the crossover like we're doing here, you can see I pointed them towards the inside. So both have to be inside to do the complete crossover. Yeah, even with a little glitch in there, it's not too bad. It rolls pretty nice. This is on realistic mode. So yeah, you might have more troubles on a lighter train. And you'll definitely have trouble if you run out of track. And um, yeah, my engine's on fire. So that's it for today's episode of track building. Hope you guys enjoy me and come check us out on the next episode. See you later. Uh -huh.